Good evening, lady, ladies, and young gentlemen. Uh, which is great. Um, so tonight we're going to focus on centering. Um, and I was thinking, as I focused on this, that actually of all the rules we learn, all the principles we learn, I think this is the most important one. When you're centered, you will be relaxed, you will be extended, you will be pretty grounded too. And it's the e you always need to come back to center. You can think you're extending key, but without being centered, you're not going to do it. So I think this is a, an important one to kind of make central to our practice, to really understand and um, call upon it when we need it. Yeah. It's like, it doesn't matter how good your IQ level, level, life isn't always easy. Sometimes it throws you stuff and it, it challenges you to stay calm and focused and, and give the best of yourself. And you need to remind yourself at those times, okay, I've got to do stuff to pull it back. It's very hard to do stuff. And um, it helps. So it's a good core life skill for everything we do. So we're going to start by getting centered. Right, so nice and relaxed. This is, this is just time for you. All right, so you'll notice I've put my left hand in my right. Beyond there, uh, and I just want you to sit straight and comfortably and shut your eyes. Probably you don't have to, but you probably do. And I just want you to initially focus on the scalp, and uh, you might notice there's some tension there. And if there is, I want you to relax. You're letting go here. Maybe you can focus on your forehead now. Your crease. Can you let go of tension there? And then your eyes. Soften your muscles. And then your jaw. A lot of people hold a lot of tension in their jaw, they clench it. So just let that go. Shoulders. And you can drop a bit more, let the hand drop a bit more. Feel the weight of your palm on your hands. Your and your chest. Notice your breathing. And your lower abdomen. Just let those stomach muscles relax. Is the center of your power. Not our only power center, but it's an important one. Imagine a little ball of light residing just above your face, sitting in the bowl of your face. That light is growing in you. Imagine the ball of light is getting bigger and bigger. Filling your body, moving out the front and back, both sides, up and down, developing your body. And 
Dia sudah orang yang sangat Use all your senses to explore what you can hear. What is going on in your body? Are you getting to smell? Certainly. This is what we call passive calmness, relaxation. Let's go ahead and keep that for the rest. We need to keep that and come back to this place when we need to. Okay. Where are you hungry? Oh, oh it's lit that way. Find some space. Two seconds. Side, please. Let me know. Just turn it up. Oh, so we'll just turn it up. Head is going to the side. One, two, and the other side. Three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Now come down. Three, two, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Now come down. Oh, good. Okay, left hand up. Oh, that's better than me. And your bad side as well. Is it feeling a little easier? A little bit better. Oh, you can lose it. Yes, horsey riding time. One, two, three, four, five. Away. One, two, three, four. Okay, we've ridden the horse, so now it's a class with some rowing. Okay, so one, two, slightly out to the left, your back foot slightly out to the right. You're going to be moving your body backwards and forwards. Keeping a straight upper body, so we don't want to be doing this, and neither do we want to be doing that. So our upper body is carried by the lower body forwards and back, just so it stays nice and straight. Okay, so in a second, when you come forward, I want you to stop when you feel comfortable. Oh, really? Okay. 
And it's fairly square. Let's try and that. Okay, so that's your what your body movement is going to be. So this time, what you're going to do is you know take your guns out of your holster, fire them, and then put them back in the holster. Okay, lift, fire, roll them back in, fire. Lift, okay, you've got that bit. Now all we have to do is be doing that at the same time we're doing that. Okay, so when we're going out, out come the hands. When we're going back, back come the hands. But not so much all that. At all times, you want to be feeling nice and grounded and solid. Yes. Okay, and it is a rowing type exercise. So it's called Bring Coke the Under, which means the rowing exercise, funnily enough. So go. One, two, one, two, one, two, two, one. And at some point, I'm going to say, I'm going to stop when you're forward. Stop. Yeah. Yeah, pretty good. Despite my best efforts, it's pretty well. <laughs> right, that's good. Just relax your hands a little bit more. Better. Okay. Uh, swap sides. Let's see. Also, hit. You go there. 
I can also just refer to the uh, uh, tap balancer. All right, so coming out to the exercise, do you want to cover her in water or not? You don't? Oh, come on. She'd love to have a shower. Are you ready? One, two, one, two, one, two. Feet on the ground, ready? All the time, feet are on the ground. Watch my feet. I'm boxing them. But they're always on the ground. Don't go so far forward. Feet are on the ground. That's a bit better. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, stop. Yes! Oh, my pressure is enormous! <laughs> Very good. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to do sideways exercise. So we're going to do one, two. Now, is this hand in front of my body or is it to the side? My hand in relation to my body. Slightly in front. Okay. Obviously, it is to the side, but it's also slightly in front. Why? Because my hands are slightly in front of my body. So when I just lift it up, my open it should still be there. A lot of people will do that. So it is genuinely to the side. And then what do you notice going on in your shoulder? There's tension. So we don't want, we don't like tension. We don't work well with tension. Um, so we don't. We just one, two, three, four. So we come back to center as we're dropping. And we dip. We come back to center. Drop. Back to center. Drop. So we're always passing through the center. Okay, so to a rhythm. One, two, three, four. Because you're doing so well, let's come down a little bit. Four more of a circle. So the energy is moving. So it's going to be one, two, three, four. The twigs are going to be going slightly in a circle. Any twigs are not pressing up. One, two, three, four. Back, but 
tries taking the SCG before. Okay. It's hard work. Okay, so allow your shoulders to go back to where you want them to be. Go back. Right, so that's what I want you to play with, right? I want you to firstly be able to just, she's centered, right? But she's not resistant. I join with her center. I am centered. We move together, right? Now I know who's my center. It's not where it needs to be. It's much harder. Back to center, and we get back into an easy exercise of this. All right, off you go. So does that all that make sense? Good. You can hold on the same side. So from this foot forward, tremendous. Okay. So. Yes, this is great. Yes. You want to be confident that when you're doing it, I can just take a minute. Because it's, it's not that. That should feel like a hook. Yes. Right? So you should feel this maintains a neutrality and I'm moving from my center. Yes. yes. So. Okay, <laughs> so I can see your upper body is wanting to go back. Think of that going backwards. Can you feel the difference? I mean, when you want someone half the way, it's easy to shift in if you need you want strength. But can you do it? I just now you're going to come forward a bit So remember, you're staying with your center. Okay, so you're not trying to hold stop your mum moving you, but you're not easy meat either. She's got to actually do this exercise right for you to be shifting, so you're staying there. I'm sure it's a regular occurrence. <laughs> I can feel the effort. Okay, so there's a little bit of pulling that, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So that was obviously when we were practicing the bad thing, wasn't it? Yeah, yes. So now we're going to do the good one. Okay. So hold again. Okay, so when you're working from center, so you can't let a bit of your body move without the rest of your body moving. Mm -hmm. You've got to think of yourself being a bit like a statue on wheels. Mm -hmm. So if I push the wheels, all of the statue goes back. So all of you is traveling backwards together and the movement starts from here. Okay. So as soon as that's done, your foot is starting to go, your back foot is starting to go, or all your upper body starts to go, it's all going to travel together. I know. You can get what I'm looking at, I know that for sure. <laughs> Okay, so I know. So one thing about centering is that if you go into your head, you're not centered. So you think, oh, I'm supposed to be relaxed now, I've got to go to my center, I didn't do it very well. Do you know what? You're not going to do it very well. So just allow yourself to calm. Okay, so I'm not, I turn my gray off. You can feel the weight of my hand mm -hmm. now. Whereas, can you feel I'm getting prepared to do it? Mm -hmm. I'm just happy to be here. Okay. The second thing is that um, if I shut my eyes, it's become an exercise all about me. Right, so I'm in my own world now. So it's, it's not surprising that, you know, I kind of am not bringing you with me because I'm not making any effort to stay with you. Okay, so I'm going to come into my center. But I'm also going to join up with your center, right? So I engage with you for a start. Mm -hmm. I imagine that this is like a train, right? So if you've got the carriage, 
any engine that are hitching bit isn't there if the train moves what happens to the carriage the carriage follows as well right so the train doesn't think well i'm a train and that's a carriage it's just yeah. it is all the same thing to it on thomas the tank definitely right so well, um so we're one thing so of course if i move i know you're going to move with me because i've been made us one <laughs> can you feel it yes so it's about this um in a way preparing but not preparing so my preparation is to come back to me mm -hmm. or i come back to me to go to you and now i'm with you with me. all right all right let's go You know, do we have to go with them to start with? Them? So it's a big challenge. All right. So sneaky coaches. Good. Okay, so that's everything there. Yeah. yeah. Everything yeah. went back. You yeah. left your feet behind. I didn't know. Oh, okay. Yes. 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 Yeah. 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 So when you take me, I don't think, no, so uh, oh, it needs to be here. I let it drop until you stop it. <laughs> That's the link between us. Yeah. No, we're linked. Yeah, yeah. you can show me your hands. You can? Yeah. Ah. So it's oh, me. You're going to do this. I'm very happy. Yeah, because I said I can. I almost made you feel it like <laughs> Have you, have you been yes. on a train or in a car? Like, you know, you're not sure whether you're moving or outside the world is moving. <laughs> have you had this experience? <laughs> What's it? Like, spooky, yeah, yeah. So, this is the, this is the same idea. But rather than going like this, you should always feel the effect of effectively supporting you. Something else is moving. Yeah. 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 So, this one? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. If you do backwards, you can't hear this. Is that right? It's a very subtle difference, isn't yes. it? Yes. But you've got to put your mind, be mindful. Yes. Go kind of do that internal scan. How I relax, how I feel. That's right. Yes. Really good. Okay. Okay, have a go. Oh, yeah. 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 So okay, a little bit of that. Okay, you came and That's your body. Yeah, yeah. 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 Which one is this? The less. If you want to do it, you can pop it. You send it to me. Okay. So imagine then you're breathing me. What are you talking about? You can do this. And then. Yeah. 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 Yes. 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 Yes.
Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So right. it's about making this a hundred. Yeah, we've had enough. Okay. That's right. Should you try to say that I'm comfortable with myself. I'm comfortable yeah, with my partner. I'm feeling in your balls mm -hmm. the chicken. So relax. Take a slide. Oh, yes. Thank you. How are we doing up there? How are we doing? Yes. Really? <laughs> Looks good. That yes. looks really good. Well done. Okay, so uh, how big is the universe? It's infinite. So as far as we're concerned, it has no ends, right? No ends in any direction. It just goes infinitely onwards and outwards. So in some sense, you are the center of the universe. We all are. We're all the center of the universe that we inhabit as an individual. When you're at the center of the universe, just think how much power you have. Why would you want to leave that place, right? When you're at the center, you can see everything. And that's, that's effectively what you're trying to get into your head, that being in the center is good. You want to be there, right? So we have our, our Aikido practice, which is martial, right? So somebody's trying to, uh, he's trying to take me out of somewhere. How's he going to do that? Well, you, he's going to attack me in some way or other. So what's a, a very natural human reaction to somebody attacking you? Would you say? Yeah, fear. Okay, do I look centered now? Okay, I've given up my center of the universe. That's giving him a bit of an answer because he's, still, want it. he's want it. still in the center of his universe. What's the other reaction that sometimes you get? It's not fear. It's aggression. Okay, so do I look centered now? No, I'm not so centered then either. I'm kind of leaving my oh, I sort you out sort of thing. And what we can be learning on Aikido is not to adopt either of those positions. But to stay in the center. So, right. So, this is not a good place to stay. If he's trying to drop my, you know, that's without a head, I'm not so centered anymore, right? So I learn his movement. Not only am I the center of the universe, but we have a relationship now. He's chosen to engage with me by trying to drop my head off. All right. So I want to control the center of us. Not let him control the center of us. So the center is changing, it's evolving the whole time that he's moving, isn't it? Does that make sense? So if this is the relationship at the moment, don't you? Yeah. Okay, there's the center. As soon as he starts to come in, the center is shifting, isn't it? This relationship is shifting. So I need to be very aware of that. Maybe I want him to come in. Or, or maybe if he does it, I choose to come in. I'm still controlling the center of the lever and my center as I do that. Does that make sense? Yes. So it can be a, a backward step. Hopefully it's still in the center. Yeah, and I've, I've taken control of the situation. Or it could be an entry step. But I'm still, hopefully, good posture. As soon as I lost my center, he had a way of calculating. There is some center inside, in, in ourselves, and there is a center in the relation. Yes. So, okay. okay, so Nick, let me grab my wrist. Okay, if I want to shift Nick, right, it's no good me staying in my center. Hmm. What if I have got to engage with him? So, I am moving from my center, but there's a center of us as well. Yeah. I'm connected to his center. There's a, the outer rim of us. Okay, so if this was a car, there's a front and a back, right? So if the back, the front of the car starts moving, look at that. <laughs> then the other end will move as well, yes? So of course it's going to come to we're all one of the same thing, we unify them. 
So um, we can just practice that exercise. So the clock comes slowly. Boom. Okay. Five millimeters movement. Yes, his step was forward, so my step was back. His hand went up, my hand went up, his hand went down, my hand went up. Yes. What I want you to do is focus on the problem and try and knock it out of the way or, or, or bash it. You should be very nice and smooth. If you can't hear a noise as the arms meet, that's a good sign. Right? We're looking for the blade. So that's your first one. Can you take a step back and just play with your thumb and just look at the center of the arms? Then, when you're happy with that, can you enter in, stay to the center of the end of it, and then you just put it the center of the end of it? Oh, yes, please.
Yeah, so what did I say earlier? I said you always have to come back to center. You've got to notice when you're not in your center. All right? So do not I feel comfortable here? Hang on, let me just pause for a second. It's not as good as it could be. I feel better here now. Right? So make sure that you, you end up where it's best for you. You might have to travel a big distance back, and it'll be a big hop back, but you're always going to come back to center. Actually, you must have a big step. Hold the big step. Give it that spin, I'm still my body's up all right as I'm doing it. I just make sure I close the distance between my legs when I get to the end. Make sense? Okay, let's go with that idea and see what happens. You ready? Raise your head up and say, well, Yes, of course, it's just a toy. You know, it's the baby. Oh, yeah. What do you say about all that? I just said, I'm going to go to the right and junior. I'll step back. Okay, remember how to do that. So, how do I, I'm going to do two ways. You said this one looks better. All right. So, I said, you know, I'm going to go back when you stay here. Ah, that way, then you're all in space. Yes. So, it's fluid. Imagine you have a sword in your hand. Would you? Would you be operating it like if you probably wouldn't? Yeah. You'd be raising it up. Bang! There's no such thing as the same. Yeah. Showman. And you choose to do the showman. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just a step that just changes the movement position of the body. Nothing else. That looks a little better. Up. Oh. Yeah. Here. Yes. Yeah. So now it's starting to look like you might actually do something. Because yeah. that means you can actually. Change the show of the your hand, and you're moving. Hmm. It's your choice, rather than you're committed, and then you're putting the stress on your hook. So, we need some Sherman here. We need some Sherman here. No, because he ran straight onto the blade, didn't he? So, he wants me to think he's coming forward. It's not changing angles, take some of the blade. So his initial energy for us, if you like, is in. If I react to that, stop. Yeah. Well, my job is to keep my sword in on this way. If he chooses to walk onto it, well, what can I do? <laughs> well, that's all I do. I, I stay with him. Your 
If we try to run away from whatever's going on in front of us, life and stuff, do you know what? It tends to catch you up. You can't run away, usually, from a lot of problems in life. They will catch you up in the end. So when you have a problem, it's best to engage with it. So if you talk with a fib, it's probably the easiest in the long run to say, actually, mum, I didn't come home straight after school, I went to the sweet shop first. Okay, get it out of the way if she challenges you, which you probably say, you don't do that again, but you won't get as much trouble as when she finds the sweetie that is under your pillow. <laughs> after you've lied to her. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it, 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 just face your problems head on and engage with them. Don't expect the outcome to always be wonderful, but usually you've got rid of it, you've done it, and then you can move on to the next thing. That's really what I would say is a better way of engaging. Yep. Okay. So, am I centered here? Could you take me? Could you? Oh. Present to this evening. So, what's, what's the first rule? Yeah, come back to some part. Oh, this is okay. Now she's jumping in. Ah, <laughs> so that's right. I've got a choice. I can be neutral and engage with this. Yeah, and move with it. Or I can say, well, no, this is not nice, but no, I don't want you. No, I'm happy here, thanks. This is okay with me. You come to me. So, uh, I want to get to have some on this particular occasion. Don't let me. So when I bite this, this becomes a problem. So when, what do I do when I'm fighting something? I notice I'm fighting it and I give up. <laughs> Am I fighting you now? No. Oh, okay, I'm not just going to talk to you now. Now I am by your side. Is it so good for you? Yes, definitely. It is. <laughs> so you're sure? <laughs> it was good for me anyway. <laughs> so, put yourself in a place where you're just slightly uncomfortable. Come back to this place where you're comfortable. Up. Just move your body so you get to your arms. Okay. Beautiful. You're all going to be fantastic at this, aren't you? Off you go. Next. Next time, maybe. Well, it doesn't. If I can do it. Deliberately take some. Uh, uh, <laughs>
you have to create muscles to get that just a movement.
First time. <laughs> My mindset changes. Yes. Come this way. Comes up in my face. So the beautiful thing about Aikido is it's an invitation. Shall we go? Where we go? No. Doesn't work. Shall we go? <sighs> It brings out a different energy. Plus, we can bend up and down. You couldn't stay down when you were staying up. So there's something about that resonates with it and it creates a different energy. So when I was a show we go, it creates an energy. As opposed to, you will do what I tell you. No one likes to be told what to do, even if they're in the wrong, they don't like it. Yeah, so we have to look at that. Do you know what? That's not going to work for you because if you do that, I have to send you to bed and set the clock. You don't want that, do you? So let's do it differently. What else? <laughs> so, what's that up there? What's that up there? What's that up there? It's not really, I can't throw it. I have to get to the side. What's that up there? Wow! You really have got this now! <laughs> 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 
Press it and see what it sounds like.
to notice the rise of your chest and belly. Okay. And how it sinks down. Okay. 
and then in particular parts of your body that calls out to you a little bit more than this exercise. And then let it go. For me, I would say it's the top of my hips where they meet the mat. That's where my mind is going to be Through that exercise of scanning your body, each bit of your body, and asking it to relax. So keep my attention. And as you do this, you notice how you become even more and more stuck to the mat. In fact, in this state of what I asked you to move, it's almost like you can't. This is how you're breathing it slow. This is how you're learning it slow. So the more peaceful you are, the more you understand about what's going on in here. Seconds, I'm going to ask you to come back to a seated position. But I want you to do it in such a way as you maintain your center throughout. Let's challenge. Uh, questions, feedback, thoughts, issues, mm -hmm. okay. um, that's what I said in the beginning, okay, this is probably the most important thing I can teach you, to centre and to be aware of centre and to know how to come back to center. And you can illustrate it with every technique you do. If you come out of center, our attack fails. If you come out of center, you cannot blend your life partner. You cannot work as one. So you don't get to the front. I think when you attack, you automatically get yourself blended. You cannot True, but you can have a pretty focus and I mean you can be right in and we know that my job is to just extend you a bit beyond where your comfort zone is. So this is an effective way to cut them. I can get you reaching for mm -hmm. me, then I take away a lot of the power. Yeah. So we know that the attacker is usually pretty focused and pretty centered. And we're looking mentally maybe they're out of kilter. Mm -hmm. uh, Which of course would be Ultimately, it's that synergy that, that we can feed off to, to, to lead this thing to a positive conclusion. So I think that that's that. Mm -hmm. But physically, we're kind of pretty centered. Mentally, if I really want to hit you, I've lost it a bit. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. It doesn't mean so I can't be a very dangerous attack. Well, yeah, yeah, but it's not, you know, in the end, if you have two people, one is calm, the other one is angry, the person who's calm always has the advantage. That's true if they have the physical skills as well. That's why you're going to make If you're a really skill. knife fighter, I can be the calmest person in the world. I can be Gandhi. I really be really calm and zen like, but probably you're going to get me. <laughs> but if, I, if I'm Bruce Lee, uh, you know, I'm really calm in any physical situation and I can love the world as well, then yes, I'm going to be calm. I think there's also a, uh, you know, and I have actually know that it's been done in reality, but 
somebody who's totally pacifist is able to stop somebody who was intended to be. So you can actually even, if you don't know how to fight or you refuse to fight, that's the fastness of mind can actually be a, an amazing tool to stop the other person. I'm not going to say fight. So when life is just maybe a little more difficult, just remember the many difficult you have in your coat. <laughs> and to that, finding your way back to your center where I'm not there. Keep just a little voice whispering in your ear. Guys, girls, all girls and guys. Well done. I think you all got it really well. 